Have you ever noticed how spot price for precious metals are different on every bullion dealer's website, even when you're looking at them at the same time? Why is that? The answer will surprise you. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. Before we get to the reason for the different prices, what is spot price? The spot price is the current price in the marketplace at which a given asset, such as a security, commodity, or currency, can be bought or sold for immediate delivery. Immediate delivery will become an important term in just a bit. While spot prices are specific to both time and place, in a global economy, the spot price of most securities or commodities tend to be fairly uniform worldwide when accounting for exchange rates. There are many different spot prices that dealers can choose to use. Since there isn't a single spot price service, prices may vary slightly from site to site. Spot price is determined by the futures contracts. As the name suggests, these are contracts for delivery at a point in the future. But when you purchase from an online dealer, you don't want your items in several months, you want them now. Therefore, said dealer must determine a price for the current moment. This is done by taking the price set by the futures market and performing a time value of money calculation, known as EFP exchange for physical. If future contract amounts are known, why does spot price differ so greatly on all of these dealers websites? Now, before anyone asks, all of these images were taken at the same time within a minute of each other. And I took them after hours. If you do this experiment yourself, I would suggest doing so after the market closes, doing it while the market's open, you're gonna have the prices fluctuating. So it's just not a good idea. But this is all taken same time. Um, it's not an error. This is just showing you that these dealers have different markups aside from the premiums of the coins and the bars. There is no agreed upon way to perform the time value of money calculation. Each company performs its own calculation based on their cost of money and other factors. It's essentially a made-up algorithm to create a tax on precious metals. Some dealers charge more, and some charge less. Additionally, with precious metals, there can be a difference between spot prices depending upon the location of where you're taking delivery of the metal. The spot price in New York, for example, may trade for a few dollars higher or lower than the spot price in London or Sydney at any given time depending on market forces. The spot price itself is not a price in which you can buy or sell physical metals. However, all of our physical metal prices are tied to the spot price, as this is the price in which banks, refineries, and large financial institutions are trading metals in the wholesale market in very large commercial quantities. Now, what is a wholesale quantity? Typically, this is 5,000 ounces for either silver or gold. Spot price exists for transactions 5,000 ounces or more. Remember that when you demand a coin shop or a private party sell you precious metals for spot. Step up how much you can purchase before demanding a specific price from someone. This is why we see all retail size bars, coins, and rounds have a premium above the spot price, which includes all the costs involved of making that specific bar or coin. Some companies' calculations seem to be on the higher end. And that should be important for those who are trying to buy as close to spot as possible. Let's say that spot gold is $1,875 an ounce, but on X dealer's website, they list spot price at $1,890. They are charging folks premiums from the $1,890 mark, not $1,875. So you're paying an extra amount for no reason other than buying from dealer X. Other terms we should know when looking at spot price is bid and ask. The terms bid and ask, also known as bid and offer, refers to a two-way price quotation. 
that indicates the best potential price at which a security can be sold and bought at a given point in time. The bid price represents the maximum price that a buyer is willing to pay for a share of stock or security. The ask price represents the minimum price that a seller is willing to take for that same security. A trade or transaction occurs when a buyer in the market is willing to pay the best offer available or is willing to sell at the highest bid. The difference between bid and ask prices or the spread is a key indicator of the liquidity of the asset. In general, the smaller the spread, the better the liquidity. This is why a lot of places won't touch rhodium because it can be difficult to sell and the spread is too great. Going off this chart from February 7th, 2023, the spread is about $2,000 for rhodium. I reached out to my LCS, Avenue Coin, and asked how they get spot price. They say that they use Kitco.com. They actually use Kitco's bid price, not the ask. Instead of using the app, Kitco allows them to install a real-time toolbar for spot price, and they can reference it on their computer screen without having to pull up a website or app on the phone. Kitco has the lowest spot price listed, and it only goes up from here. Monument Metals is the next highest, then Hero Bullion, SD Bullion, JM Bullion, and finally, Atmex, with the highest added amount. If you're confused, I don't blame you. It's tricky when so many places use spot price and it differs so much. You have the base spot price, no premiums added. Then you have the dealer spot price. This is their own made up calculation of exchanging for physical. Then you have the premiums of the coins or bars that you're buying, added to the dealer spot price. It's two different premiums. This is how much more you're paying shopping at these dealers. And I'm sure this fluctuates during the year. So take these figures with a grain of salt. These are all premiums over the base Kitco spot price. With Atmex, you have an additional $10 for gold, 30 cents for silver, and $16 for platinum. For JM Bullion, gold is $8.61 over, Silver is 28 cents more, and platinum is $18.54 more. SD Bullion has a premium of $7.81 for gold, 24 cents for silver, and $13.96 for platinum. Hero Bullion, who I've never shopped from, but I hear a lot of viewers talk about them. Gold is $5.26 more, silver is 17 cents more, and platinum is $15.50 over. Monument Metals, has the lowest premiums over Kitco spot price. They are $1.90 over for gold, eight cents over for silver, and $7 over for platinum. The smallest dealer has the smallest premiums. And I'm not talking about the premiums for the specific items that they're selling. If you're trying to buy as close to spot, Monument Metals in this particular time frame has the better pricing. Of course, you're gonna to have to look at the premiums that they attach to their individual items and compare it to another website. But more than likely, since Monument Metals has also had a history of low premiums on their coins, they're probably gonna have the best deal around. So when you see a dealer that says only $2 over spot, they are referring to their own spot price, not Kitco's spot price. Now you know why dealers at the top of this list can afford influencers. This is why I've told people about Monument Metals. They have great pricing. And I don't get any kickbacks from any one of these dealers or anyone else or from my LCS. I'm just pointing this out for anyone willing to listen. It's probably not going to make any friends with these bullion places. It also highlights why it's so important to shop around. Today, Monument Metals might be cheaper, but tomorrow could be SD bullion. Use Kitco spot price to determine how much over you're paying with your bullion dealer. If someone is quoting you a spot price, find out what they're using before making a purchase. You might unknowingly be paying more. Your time is your most precious asset and I appreciate you spending it here with me. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins and that is my two cents. <laughs>